Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome, finally, at long last, to Dark Souls 3. I've been... I've never been as excited to play a new game as uh, I have been for this one. I've heard a lot of things about it. I've been trying to avoid the any major media blowout, so uh, I haven't seen most of the trailers. I think I only saw one, so I'm... Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's going on. I have uh, maybe to to explain what my experience with the Souls game is. Souls games are is um, I have been playing the Souls game from games from the very start. Uh, I've been a fan since Demon Souls. I've played Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3. Completed it uh, not fast. I uh, it took a while for me to complete that one. Then of course we went straight into the, the masterpiece Dark Souls 1. Uh, completed that twice, Dark Souls 2 also twice, um, I did find the world of Dark Souls to be the first Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls to be a bit more interesting, but uh, then Dark Souls 2, and Bloodborne of course, you can check out my completely, uh, completely finished playthrough of Bloodborne and its DLC on my channel. Um, so yeah, I've been quite experienced in uh, Souls games. And this music is pretty loud, but um, let's head into it. I'm really excited, as I've said before. So here we go. New game. Yes, indeed. I haven't even seen this one, so uh, enjoy. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. Awesome. That was a lot of information. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to start taking notes, I think. So, a few things we got from that. Uh, the term Lord of Cinder was used. Uh, Gwyn, the last boss in the original Dark Souls, became a Lord of Cinder uh, when he started out as a Lord of Sunlight, when he tried to rekindle the first flame. So that's something that's returned. Uh, the bell returns. In Dark Souls 1 we needed to uh, ring a bell. Or ring two bells actually. To gain access to uh, Sans Fortress. And now the bell returns as a sign of... Uh, reviving the old lords. Uh, there was mention of a few thrones as well. So uh, that will probably... Uh, yeah, let's go with female. I usually do female. So those thrones will be important, I believe, because it um, they started out with saying that when the flame fades, the thrones are abandoned, uh, and the lords need to be seated upon their thrones again. Um, but we'll see about that. So class, pretty important decision, of course. Um, I have been thinking about this. I usually do a dexterity build and in Bloodborne that was a skill build. Um, but I'm still doubting so I might want to go with something that's a bit of a mix of both. Um, that's a lot of dexterity and intelligence. So a sorcerer or a pyromancer. I do want to dabble in magic a bit and uh, maybe the strength will be handy as well. So we might go for Pyromancer as a beginning. I think we can do some uh, flame spells when we start with that if it's still the same of course. Burial gift. So we are actually buried already. Uh, ring set with a small raise maximum HP. No. Is there a key of some sort like before? No, apparently not. Fire gem. Material used to upgrade to fire weapons. More appropriate for war warrior than pretty trinkets. Sovereignless soul of one who slept beside you. Used to acquire many souls. Uh, if you guys have any tips for me for items that I should use. Don't hesitate to uh, let me know in the chat or in the comment section if you're on YouTube. So, rusted gold coin. Great increases item discovery for a short while. Won't be needing that, won't be needing that. It can be used to blend into the environment, but only once. So what I'm getting from this is that there isn't any item that's really important anymore, I think. There used to be... You had either the master key or uh, even the, the pendant, which did nothing. But this all seems to have a singular use. So maybe I'll, I'll go for the fire gem. Face presets. She looks pretty nice, actually. Is there any variation? Katarina Merrymaker. Well, that reminds me of Siegmeier, so uh, let's go with that. Build. Slim, very slim. Burly, very burly. Very burly upper body, lower body. I think just go with standard seems fine with me. And appearance. Oh, okay, we can go body hair. That would be a bit weird. I might have mentioned this before, but I usually go for a female character because if I need to uh, look at a character's ass for, uh, well, probably 40 to 50 hours, I do want it to be a pretty female ass. So yeah, the standard was good. I might change it to, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice redhead. There we go. There we go. And that's about it. There we go, finalized creation. There we go, okay, let's get into this. So are we going to start at a graveyard then, since it said burial gift? The intro also mentioned that we weren't even fit for cinder. 
So I'm wondering if this changes when we compare that to Dark Souls 1 or 2, when we were a real chosen undead, destined for greatness, but this doesn't seem to be the case in this one. Okay, yeah, we're literally rising from the grave. Interesting. Cemetery of Ash. Okay. So, let's go over the controls really quickly. R1 is a regular attack. There we go. Still got it. R2 is a strong attack. Ooh. That feels beefy. Target lock. That's still parrying. Okay. The circle is still rolling. That was a jumpy roll. I like it. So dashing. I don't know if I should be a soul of a deserted corpse, okay? So no longer souls of lost and dead, apparently. This is pretty. Okay, there's a dude here. Nope. They're not doing anything. We have an Astus Flask already, which is also a first, I think. Because in Dark Souls 1 you get the Astus Flask from Oscar. Ashen Astus Flask. Wait, wait a second. Holy crap, this is Oscar. So that's the same guy you get the Astus Flask from in uh, the original Dark Souls. Yeah, his gear matches the... the, the the Elite Knight armor and the Crest Shield, though a bit older. Seems like he got his head slammed into this... Ugh. Okay, so there's someone over there. I want a shield. So backstabs. I wasn't close enough. Or was it... Is it changed? No, R1 behind enemy. So it's... You don't need to charge it like you did to... You needed to do in Bloodborne. Um, Ashen Estus Flask. Is this for magic? Because I now have a magic bar. Oh, whoa, okay. Hello. No, thank you. Damn it. First hit of the game. Okay. Someone died here. The blood stains are a lot clearer than they were before. They're actually bright red. Something I missed over here? No? Okay. So that's still sprinting. L2 is parry. Yeah, okay. And repost, so let's try that. Oh, whiffed it. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh. That was nice. So, forward. So that's a kick, yeah, okay. Um, decisions, decisions already. So, this is quite a big cemetery. This seems to be the way we need to go up there, probably. Ooh. That's a big castle. And a pretty nice vista, but first, the other side of this place. A lot of pretty trees here as well. Well, it's a bit dark, but it's Dark Souls for a reason. Turn back. Why? Will this be my first death?
turn back. Why should I turn back? Oh! That looks like a pretty big fellow. I'll probably be able to run away, no? What the fuck is that thing? Frost breath! Um. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Turn away. Great start! Didn't even try to block. I'm still in the, the Bloodborne mindset. Okay, Cemetery of Ash. Let's try this again and not get uh, Sonic the Hedgehog by uh, the Crystal Dragon. In the face! That feels hefty. I like it. Nope. So then we have that archer over there. There we go. Okay, let's ignore the rest of those dudes and remember the crystal monster for later then. Going up. Apparently, so are we exiting... Is that that tower with the bell from the cutscene? Must be. Don't have my uh, binoculars yet. Oh, bonfire! Bonfire lit. Hey, and Kindle! And we get another gesture. We don't get any more Estus charges, so... Yeah, rest that bonfire, replenish HP. Hello, sir. Oh, you're not dead yet. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, you have a shield. Remember, you have a shield. in the back. Cleric's Sacred Chime. Do we have... no. Apparently not. God damn it. Um, Square is probably chucking Estus. Yeah, there we go. Shield. You have a shield. This is gonna take some getting used to again. I don't really know how many years it has been since Dark Souls 2. But I'm using my Bloodborne reflexes on this one. So we can drop down here. Seems to be something here. Oh, yeah, okay. I needed to jump, probably. Plunging attack! Anything else? No? Okay, everything's dead. I still hear something. A fading soul. I don't think we can level up yet. There's... Ooh, there's one over here. Well, there's two over here. So that's one. Backstab. Okay. Firebomb. Can't really switch between that yet. Maybe... Equipment... There we go. Put the firebomb in. And that chime, but maybe... I don't see a selection screen for my spell, so that must go through the bonfire as usual. Do have a pyromancy flame that I can switch to? Although I do prefer my pyromancy to be up in my weapon slot. There we go. Lower root. 
So now I need to go back to that tombstone because I think I can jump across there. So if I jump, I should end up on that gravestone. Huh! Or no. I'm taking damage. Did they move jumping to a different button? Oh, that's... Hmm. Jumping, jumping. I'm gonna check the controls real quickly. Jumping controls. L3. Okay then. So... Ah, okay. Maybe a bit easier. So over there. Nope. Need to aim to the right a bit. Oh, for f too much to the right. God damn it. I need to have that thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Titanite shard. Okay, that's for... Uh, to upgrade equipment. I'm gonna see what's in the next room. And after that, I'll probably start checking out some item descriptions. Because that's where most of the lore is. Okay, that's a big dude. Um... How many fireballs do I have? I didn't even check that. Well, big arena, big tree. This tree kind of looks familiar. Looks like the one in Bloodborne behind the... The Hunter's Dream. Okay. Remove sword. Um, You got something growing on your back, dude. Is he not moving? Apparently not. So, I'm gonna suppose this is the first boss fight. Remove sword. Okay. Nothing's happened. Okay, never mind. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? Okay, I don't block for shit. That does quite a bit of damage. Okay! Udex Gundir. Let's try that again. With full Estus this time. Maybe I should even use my uh, my axe instead. That seemed to deal out a bit of damage. So we turn into a fog wall. Might as well kill that guy. What am I doing wrong with the parrying? Never mind. Let's do this. Let's go, Grundir. Okay. Fireballs! So keep my distance. Oh fuck, what the hell is that? What the fuck? Oh! What the hell is that thing? There we go. He's down. Eat it. Coiled sword. Okay, Udex Grundir. 
Ember restored. Ember restored. Embrace the flame. Ember restored. Okay then, another bonfire. Uh, let's light it. There's green fire over there. I'm learning things as we go. So, second try, not that bad, I think. But let's see about a few items. So, um, can I check that in inventory? Probably, okay. So, the Estus flask. And that treasure, these dull green flask. Blah, 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 blah. The journey of an undead has always traced the bonfires, and no journey of import has been made without an Estus flask. So, nothing really of importance. Dull ashen flasks. Drink to restore FP. Is that fire points or something? Quite befitting of an unkindled, an ashen Estus flask turns a bonfire's heat cold. Okay. So that helps them touch a bonfire. Firebomb. Higher effect against creatures of flesh, beasts and other foes that might naturally have cause to fear the flame. The dark sign. Sign of an accursed undead. The dark sign returns its bearer to the last bonfire. Rest of that or the bonfire at Firelink Shrine. What? So Firelink Shrine is the place where we... Uh, Eventually came back to every time in the original Dark Souls, where everything happened. But at the cost of all souls held, carriers of the Dark Sign are reborn after death and eventually lose their minds, turning hollow. And so it is, they are driven from their homelands. That seems to be still the same as in the other Dark Souls. Fading Soul, let the Firekeeper transform this sovereignless soul into a source of strength, for to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. So we are unkindled and not undead. Or maybe unkindled is a special kind of undead. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, so this is the same. Crystal sends phantom back to their homes and your, or you back to yours. Beware of fickle use of these items if you intend to nurture relations. And then those who engage in unjust deeds when in contact with other worlds will lose. Way of white circlets assume such sin as their own but are found few and far between. Acting without honor will never be without risk. Okay. Titanite shard. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. Used in infusion to create fire weapons. Found in rare cases inside demons. To add fire damage to a weapon. And then the coiled sword. This is the thing we got from uh, Udex Grundy. Or, uh, Udex is um, Latin for judge, I think. I had some Latin in schools, but I think Udex is judge. So that was Judge Grundier. So was he judging if I'm worthy? Coiled sword. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire. Cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire. Firelink shrine then? To restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. Oh, we're gonna get the warping immediately. This sword is only bequeathed to chosen ash. As judged by the Udex. Judge, so it's a judge. I was right! Who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard? I do wonder what that thing was that grew out of his shoulder, because that was terrifying. Pyromancy, still the same. Equip Pyromancy. And attune a Pyromancy at a bonfire, so that explains that. Hand axe, favored by Pyromancers of the Great Swamp, so that's still the same as well. This axe has a short range, easily wielded. Skill Warcry. Let out a spirited Warcry that temporarily boosts attack. So that's the uh, those arts that I've been hearing about. Combustion. Creates a powerful flame in the wielder's hand. One of the most basic pyromancies. And then the talisman. Chimes such as these are often given to clerics who become undead. Gentle Prayer. Recover HP for a period of time. Oh, so is L2 that... Oh. Pyromancer Crown. Attire of the Pyromancers of the Great Swamp. Compromised of a leather crown. Comprised of a leather crown and animal bones. In the Great Swamp, it was thought that adorning oneself with natural fauna would provide protection from the flames. And the garb. Um... Bronze was used ritualistic 
to ward off evil spirits and keep darkness at bay. Nether wrap plainly. The life of a pyromancer is a life of endless trudging through marshland. Great Swamp Ring? Ring said to be chiseled from the bone of a flamed salamander by blighted pyromancers living in the Great Swamp. Boost pyromancies. Okay, so that's already equipped as well. It's believed that salamanders are the descendants of demons born of the Chaos Flame, from which pyromancy is also said to have originated. Now, we have seen flamed salamanders... Uh, in Dark Souls 2, those were uh, closed down below, so let's rest for a minute to get my Estus flasks back. Udex Grundir, oh, so the, the bonfire has his name even. But what's this? This green flame. Recover lost souls. Oh yeah, okay, of course. So, are we heading to Firelink Shrine then? Is there something I need to recognize then? Like this tombstone looks a lot like the tombstone from uh, from Nito in Dark Souls One. Oh wow! Look at how I is that because my ember was restored? Not that I really know what that means yet, but I'm on fire. Uh, open the door, please. <laughs> 